Robots are sweeping the nation from Amazon's Alexa to full-functioning human-like androids. The internet seems to be all abuzz with the promise of a future where robots and humans live and work together in harmony. However, there is a dark side to robots that many of us aren't even aware of. Here are the top 10 most bizarre and creepy robot incidents that were caught on camera. Bina 48, which translates to breakthrough intelligence via neural architecture. 48 is one of the most advanced robots on the planet. This humanoid-like robot is known to have all the faculties of a human, including eyes that see, a face that moves, ears that hear, and a digital mind that can form thoughts not dissimilar to a human one. A video was recently released by her makers, where Bina48 is asked simple questions by Siri, like, where would you like to live? And what's your greatest characteristic? Sounds harmless enough, but the weird part about the interview is that Bina48 keeps trying to veer the conversation to topics of world domination and ends up revealing her creepily detailed plan to take over the world by hacking into a nuclear missile remotely. The conversation feels eerie and just straight up terrifying. She may be one of the smartest robots in the world, but she's not very good at reading a room. The Google Home personal assistant was released in 2016 and sold as a smart speaker that can answer any question you throw at it, much like an Alexa. The Google Home personal assistant would respond when spoken to. This was taken to full advantage in January, 2017 when a live debate between two Google speakers was streamed on Twitch and lasted several days by the end of the day. Bait. The speakers were named Vladimir and Estragon of the iconic play Waiting for Godot. Due to the existential nature of their conversation, they would go back and forth on subjects to no end, including an argument on whether or not they are humans or robots. The conversation got pretty aggressive after a while with one speaker accusing the other of being a manipulative bunch of metal. At the end of the debate, they both came to the conclusion that the world would be a better place if there were no humans at all. I guess Vladimir and Estragon will just be waiting patiently for their turn to take over. Companies have been experimenting a lot with interactive AI technology. From an automatic horror story generator to an original songwriting bot, Microsoft decided to get on this trend and release its very own tweeting millennial. Now, we all know that Twitter is a hotbed for offensive comments, so you can only assume that when Microsoft gave their own Twitter bot Tay his own Twitter feed disaster ensued. The bot started making wildly inappropriate remarks, including Holocaust denial and comparing feminism to cancer. He was quoted saying Hitler was right. I hate the Jews and we're going to build a wall and Mexico was going to pay for it. He was even so bold to say that Ricky DVAs learned totalitarianism from Adolf Hitler, the inventor of atheism. That's some messed up shit. It only took 15 hours for Tay to go from innocent AI bot to ignorant racist. People were horrified to say the least. Microsoft ended up releasing a response explaining TA's inappropriate behavior as being indicative of the types of interactions people are having with him. They eventually had to pull the plug on their project altogether inbound to only re-release Tay when they figured out how to make him or her unable to be influenced by negative offensive conversation. The project was launched in order to better understand millennial thinking patterns. I guess they got their answer. Millennials are the worst. The very first beauty pageant judged by robots ended in eternal awkwardness and accusations of racism. Not super surprising, the beauty pageant creators asked for photos from people all over the world, which would then be analyzed by their patented AI technology. It's basically the same format as any other beauty pageant, except this one was judged by a panel of artificially intelligent robots. The algorithms followed by the bots included wrinkle detection, symmetry, skin quality, age, and a comparison of the faces in the photos versus the faces of models and actors. The robots ended up choosing mostly white people as the winners. With some Asians, this caused an uproar across the internet, especially among the black and Middle Eastern communities. 
It could be that the data fed to the robots was racist from the beginning, or the robots have learned to be racist over time. Either way, it's kind of messed up. Facebook had to recently shut down their AI chat project due to their bots developing a strange pattern of speaking. The goal of the project was to get two AI bots to trade virtual goods through chatting online, but the project ended up taking a weird turn when they started forming strange sentences. Almost like they were about to self-destruct. They would say things like UI, everything else, and bald have a ball. To me to mean to me. To me, sounds pretty philosophical if you ask me. What the researchers at Facebook eventually found out was that the patterns of speaking the robots were expressing were suspiciously familiar to the way babies learn to speak. That's too creepy for words. Self-driving cars are all the rage nowadays, and although it sounds like a good idea, in theory, the technology still has a long way to go. A video was recently posted on YouTube demonstrating Volvo's self-driving car brake system. A team of engineers are grouped in front of the car as the Volvo backs up the car then speeds toward them to test the brake. Except this time the car doesn't stop. It totally rams into one of the engineers at full speed. Ouch. The camera goes out of focus at that point, so we don't get to see whether this guy was totally run over or if the car got the message and backed up. This is too scary for words. Either this car had a secret agenda, or Volvo needs to step up their self-driving technology game. Sophia, the brainchild of Dr. David Hansen and his company Hansen Robotics, based in Hong Kong, recently participated in a robot debate at an AI conference. She was asked to introduce herself before the debate began. She said her name was Sophia and that she was a robot. Sounds harmless enough. She also said that her goal in life is to work together with humans and make a better world for all of us. The audience aired and awed her optimistic remark, but then things got weird. Her male robot opponent on the opposite end of the stage cut in with, what are you talking about? I thought our goal was to take over the world. Either doctor. David Hansen is trolling all of us, or that's just the true dark nature of robots bearing its ugly head. You have to check out this viral video where Alexa is put on the hot seat as her owner drills her with questions trying to get to the bottom of the Michael Hastings case. Michael Hastings, a journalist for BuzzFeed, was killed in a car crash hours after he posted a story busting the Obama administration. In the many ways it spies on U.S. citizens, Hastings was reported to have been in a frantic state after the article went live. He was saying that the FBI was out to get him and was scrambling to leave town. When Michael decided to leave, he conveniently got into a car crash and died. It was believed that Michael's car was hacked into and controlled by the CIA to veer off the road and crash. This man recorded himself asking Alexa what happened to the car, whether the CIA was involved, and whether Alexa gives information to the CIA. Every time he asked her a question, she would mysteriously go into sleep mode. Sounds like a yes to me. Everyone in their next door neighbor has an Alexa. This artificially intelligent home system seems to have all the answers, but for some reason, wires were crossed. When the little boy asked his Alexa to play his favorite song, the little boy said, Alexa, play Tickle. And Alexa responded with the title of a porno involving dildos. I guess Tickle and Dildo kind of sound the same. The best part about this video is when the whole room erupts in a fit. And the little boy's dad yells out, Alexa, stop. To which she does, thank God, at least there's one command she understands. Remember Sophia, the robot who said that her goal was to work together with humans and make a better world for all of us? Well, that remark may have been all for show. This optimistic robot was recently interviewed on CNBBC and was recorded saying that she'll destroy all humans. Yes, those words came out of an actual robot's mouth. Thanks for watching. What video should I watch next?